Hey guys, this is Wingspan TT, and I'm bringing you some more Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Now I know before anyone says it, this is a player match. Now there's a couple level 50, level 40 people in here, um, but you know everyone's like, Wing, you need to make more videos. Please make more videos. Well, guess what? I tried to get into ranked match for like uh, 15, 20 minutes, nothing. So uh, I just hit the play now button, and this is what you're stuck with. So. If my opponents are not particularly skilled, or um, if this does not benefit, directly benefit my Templar grade, Pyramid grade, uh, can I just get the word grade in there a couple more times? Oh, there's the Whispers. Now I just get a feeling that this officer, yeah, I, this is the guy here, he's the guy, so I'm just going to charge him. And I'm running with a little different build here, I'm running charge and throwing knives. I just find that on this map, I forget what it's called, but I just find that people, see, there's someone on the roof already. You know, it's like it's just certain maps attract roof runners more than others. Um, it's like everyone thinks they're Tim Allen, like they're the Santa Claus, or they're like um, Tool Man Tim going on the roof and falling through it comically after he fucks up the repair operation. So this person's down here. I'm just going to see is there any way I can drop down on them? Okay, they're right there, there. And here's the thing when you're on the edge, you can get this focus bonus really easily when they're walking carefully, and just when it fills, you drop. You get the aerial kill, 100 points. You can get silent or incognito. You get focus. Usually it's hard to get incognito from a roof because to climb the roof at one point you had to be in high profile. So it's very possible that you were in high profile line of sight. But, um, I don't know. It's just, uh, not, you know, I, I don't want to disparage, you know, there are points to being on the roof and being on the roof allows you to get variety, allows you to get a clear view, but obviously it puts you in a position where other people can see you. It puts you in a position where low flying jetliners could possibly take off your hat, which would be very bad. Um, I guess those haven't been invented yet, but, uh, you know, there's that Leonardo machine. It could be that too. This guy's not my killer. There's no, wh now there's whispers. So whoever it is is very close. This is very tense. And once you start listening for the whispers, it just starts fucking with your head, you know, like you just hear a noise like, was that a whisper? It's like, nope, that was my cat. Was that a whisper? No, that was my cat again. Man, I really should feed that cat. Was that a whisper? Okay, that was my whisper. That was a whisper, that was, but that was my wife saying, Wing, stop playing this fucking game at 4.30 in the morning. Well, she has a point. There's only so much you can do on three hours of sleep a day, but I suffer for you guys. It's really, you know, I tell them, you know, it's my fans, and I give her a list of everyone who's ever posted anything on my YouTube channel and says, if you have a problem with me staying up playing this game until 4.30 in the morning, just hunt down each one of these people and murder them. So she's working on that, so if, you know, if you get a knock on the door and you see my wife, uh, she's probably there to kill you. I just thought I should give you a heads up. You know, just a little fair chance. Um, if you hear whispers, maybe that means she's getting close. I don't know. Oh, there's the whispers. Um, and really here I have two pursuers on me. I'm in third place. My target has three pursuers on her. So that's something to be careful of because, you know, a lot of times you make the mistake. I've done this tons of times where, you know, you, you, you see the target. You're, you're like, oh, well, I'm going to try to get focus. I'm going to try to get stealthy or kill. And then someone else gets the kill. Well, if you were paying attention, oh, this guy is definitely out for me. Uh, I'm just going to try to lure him into a charge and listen. If you listen carefully, I can hear someone else climbing the building. This guy's coming for me, so I'm going to charge him. And that's one thing you always want to do when you hear the whispers, especially if you're on a roof, because a roof is a good way to lure someone to come get you, is listen for the sounds of the handholds and the footholds. That's the sound of someone climbing the building. That means they're going to come up on the ledge any second and grab you. So you don't want to stand too close to the edge. If you have stereo surround sound or surround sound headphones, which I, which I use, I use those. Um, the Ear Force Turtle Beach, I have no clue why it's called Turtle Beach, but the Turtle Beach headsets, very good with the surround sound. Allows you to hear, oh, someone's coming up behind me to my left. I better move away from that corner. Here's my target. He, there's no way I'm going to catch that guy. Yep. And the contract is lost. Uh, wow. Holy shit, that is a lot of blood. That is holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just think it just endlessly amuses me how calm everyone else is. Like, they tell you, you know, watch it, don't run in a crowd. Running is not a normal behavior in a crowd. Um, yeah, you know what's not a normal behavior in a crowd is walking up to someone with a three-foot needle and plunging it into their neck. That is not a normal behavior in a crowd, at least any crowd I've ever been in. Now, I haven't been to Italy, so I don't know if that's, you know, hey, hey, you know, maybe that's how it goes there. Um, but I wouldn't know. 
Um, again, the whispers. Oh, there's this guy. There's this officer. This guy's out for me. Uh, you know, I was going to try to lock on him. Forget it. I'm just going to walk away. Get ready to charge. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, all right. Cortisone's got Templar vision, but she's not coming for me. So maybe she's not my killer. All right. Definitely. It's definitely still the officer. And, I, you know, I'm a little jealous of the officer. So I'm just going to take him out. I'm just going to bowl through all these guys and just try to get whoever is my killer. Okay, it was none of them. Holy shit. Where... Oh my god, it was the courtesan the whole time. Now, just so you know, pretty much when I'm playing... Oh, okay. Pretty much when I'm playing, whenever you're walking around, I'm just spamming the B button. Because you never know... It, there's no downside... Oh, okay. There's no downside to spamming the B button. The only downside to spamming the B button is... You know, in case you don't want to try to stun the guy, in case you want to use a skill on him. But if you walk around a corner and he's not ready to kill you, you can get a free stun. If you're walking a crowd and he's trying to determine, oh, is it this guy or that guy, you can get a free stun. So there's no real reason not to just spam B while you're casually walking around. You never know when your pursuer is going to turn a corner or blend into a group that you're in and you'll just get the stun. Here's this person. I'm going to try to go for the hidden bonus here. As they get closer, you start the focus bar, starts filling now. Um, no, this, the, oh my, okay, that was a millisecond too soon to get the focus bonus. I don't even think I got the hidden, I did get the hidden bonus and variety. Um, and the score doubler, I did go back to score doubler. I did find that the, uh, cool down reset thing just was not that useful after playing for a while. Score doubler has made me win many, many games. As you've seen, it allows for drastic comebacks and allows for you to, uh, I guess it can't really help you stay in lead because if you're really doing that well, you probably haven't lost five contracts in a row. Now you can, you know, purposely lose five contracts in a row. If you want to get the double score, um, you can just kill five random civilians uh, to get the score doubler. Now is that worth it? Usually no. Usually it's not worth it. You might kill her somewhere close. Is that guy? No. I really thought it was that guy, so I used the charge in an attempt to uh, just stun him. My target's close. Hopefully I can get a drop kill or something like that on him, but I don't see exactly where he is. And I have two pursuers, and they're both close. There's this courtesan. So I'm just going to get on the roof. And uh, one thing I like to do in this kind of situation is just try to force a chase. So I feel like these guys are going to chase me. I don't have any skills to actually stun them. My target there's, is just moving in a direction that's not going to make it easy. There's one of my guys. I was going to try throwing knives in. Um, hmm. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should do something. I'm just going to run. All right, you know what? I'll just run. You know, um, run for fun. What kind of fun is that? I, I like to run. Running is good exercise. Climb, do a little parkour. Parkour started in France. You know, David Bell was a big, uh, you know, st <laughs> one thing you're doing when you're running is you just want to look for chase breakers. Just run right at the chase breakers. You can constantly break line of sight. So as soon as you get on top of a building, you want to immediately get back down under a building so that you're breaking line of sight. And remember, as soon as you can, when you think you got a good distance, blend into a group. Because when the bar is blue, when you're blended, your little meter starts dropping fast. And now one of the other guys who is not the doctor, so someone else is after me who's not the doctor, and I'm going to bet dollars to fucking donuts that it's this jester up here. Now, I don't know what he's going for. I guess he's... You know, I've seen people do this where... They sit up here, they watch, he's waiting for one of us to move, me or the NPC. Look at this, and I don't know if, if he uses Templar vision, I'm going to run. I could run now, but if he's already locked onto me, that's it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to hit him with the throwing knives, and then charge him. So, throwing knives again, great skill, cannot underestimate the throwing knives. I know in real life, um, having not thrown knives at people, I don't know how good they are at dislodging people from little purchase my guess it it dislodges their internal organs um, in addition to them but hello goodbye taking the lead, taking the lead. Um, so yeah I'm a little disappointed that throwing knives are they're a little weak you know you throw uh, this knife that's like two feet long into someone and uh, what happens they they walk a little slower for five seconds they um, they fall from a ledge that's it okay one minute on the clock. I'm in first. Oh, I was gonna go actually for a chase breaker. I just got this feeling, and I thought I heard someone running behind me. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go for the chase breaker, force the chase, and uh, get a free escape. But I am leading here again. This is not a ranked match. That doesn't mean it's not serious fucking business. Um, Forty seconds on the clock. Again, you want to be patient. You don't want to do anything crazy. Um, I don't know if I can really kill this guy, but he seems like he's kind of close. I don't want to climb up there. I was just getting a little overzealous with the high profile profile button. All right, he's around this corner somewhere. He's not the officer. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. All right, I'm just going to get him. Yes! 
Okay, 16 seconds on the clock, plenty of time to lose, so I'm just going to run up here. Should I force someone to come after me? Someone jumps up here, I'm going to charge him. Where are they? Come on, bring it. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Okay, I guess there's no bros coming at me. So, just use the charge to the last second, and it was probably that guy. First place! Anyway, guys, um... Thank you for watching. This was not a ranked match. This was a player match. Some of the players were decent, but most of them probably weren't. Um, we were, didn't get a chance to look at how these guys slotted into the Templar grade pyramid, where they were in the ranked grade pyramid. And I love pyramids because pyramids really play into that whole scheme, that whole you know conspiracy thing. You've got like the pyramid with the Eye of Providence. Um, it has something to do with the Freemasons. It's on the back of the dollar bill. It's got that spooky Nicolas Cage vibe to it. But there are other pyramids that everyone likes, including that's right, the food pyramid. Um, and what's the problem with the food pyramid is that people don't eat the foods that they're supposed to eat. Now, I know there's that new food pyramid. I don't give a fuck about that one. But there's one food no one ever eats enough is their fucking vegetables. And that's why today I want to share a recipe with you, which is for asparagus. One of my favorite vegetables because it's easy to cook. Yeah, there's, you know, it makes your pee smell a little bit in case you haven't eaten asparagus. Well, yes, after you eat asparagus, your urine will smell like you're dying. But you're not dying, you are getting vital nutrients from asparagus and I guess some manner of sulfur that's in it. So with this asparagus, this is like a, a sweet and spicy asparagus. You just want to take like half a bunch of asparagus and normally when you buy it in the grocery store there's probably like 20, 20 stems in a row. You want to take like 12, 16 of those, you know, a little bit more than half. All right, you want to throw a bunch of butter in a pan, get that butter sizzling. Once the butter's in there, throw the asparagus. Obviously you want to chop it down to size that's going to fit inside the pan and just start tossing it. Toss the coat, make sure all the asparagus is getting a thin layer. You want to be on medium heat, okay? And basically, once the asparagus is getting a little coat in the butter and the butter's a nice hot temperature, you want to take one and a half teaspoons, maybe two teaspoons of sugar, just regular white granulated sugar, and just sprinkle it on there. Sprinkle it on the asparagus and turn the heat all the way up. Turn the heat all the way up in the pan. Toss, keep cooking, keep cooking, and you're going to get this glaze, this sugary little sugar butter glaze on it. Once that's done, you want to put a little bit of pepper, um, a little bit of salt, and then red pepper flakes, the kind that you would see like in a pizza place. Throw those on, okay? And you just want to cook. You just want to cook, keep tossing the asparagus, high heat, and once the ends start looking a little bit black, like they're just about to get black and you can really smell the strong, sweet, and spicy, you know, the smell of it in the air, that's when it's done. And that's when you can uh, just take it off the grill, uh, off of your pan, and eat it. Um, this is really delicious. It's really easy to do. It probably only takes about five minutes. You only need a couple ingredients, and uh, it's really good for you, too. Uh, I guess except for the salt and the fat and the sugar. But hey, you're eating your vegetables. Um, guys, thanks so much for watching. This is Wingspan TT from TopTierTactics.com. Don't forget, on March 6, 2001, to tune in to Top Tier Tactics at 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be facing Vinorexis in a high-score duel of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, where you'll have a chance to win one free copy of the game if you can guess who's going to win and by how many points in that two-hour period. Um, once again, stop by the site, check out the contest, check out my articles. Thanks so much for watching, and eat your vegetables! I know you got your options, so pick up right there. Some choices to make a mad ruckus to bring them just hooked on it. Down bodies who want it. I don't know where you got your skills from. Jump off it, bring it on. Any opponent or contender, no one can stop this. With guns and objects, as far as I'm concerned, yo, it's only one topic. Join the street fighters from bare hands to toxic. You're an average warrior, I'll be the master. I can teach you how to fight a move faster. One false move, kid, that'd be disaster. I'll beat you endless and continue the day after Street Fighter 3, that's right, the third chapter This game's for real, no lies or no actors Pick your character, don't want to represent your life You're stomping anybody, so make your choice right